Hi, I'm Bernie Thompson. I'm the founder of Pluggable Technologies. So we just got our new MacBook 2018, uh, MacBook Pro 2018, I should say, um, and wanted to show that to you connected to a bunch of our devices. So what do, we, what do we have here? Well, we have a pluggable Thunderbolt 3 dock. It's our TBT3 UDV docking station. Um, this dock enables the connection to two uh, 4K displays, one of them directly out of the, uh, the DisplayPort port on the back of the dock. And we also include a DisplayPort to HDMI adapter right in the box, so it could be an HDMI display. And in this case, we're connecting the other display from the second Thunderbolt 3 USB-C port using a USB-C to HDMI cable, also one of our own, uh, to connect to a 4K HDMI display. So you're seeing both HDMI and DisplayPort both coming off of a single docking station. The dock also has a bunch of other connectivity, basically getting all the ports back that you've had to sacrifice in order to get such a nice thin and light laptop, including wired network, audio, and a whole bunch of extra USB ports. Right here on my desk, I've got the keyboard and the mouse connected into two of those USB ports. Also here, we have our Thunderbolt 3 external hard drive. This is a 480 gigabit per second hard drive, and it's designed to make full use of Thunderbolt 3's amazing 40 gigabit per second performance. So this is the highest performance drive that you're going to find on the market that just plugs into a USB port. It does require Thunderbolt 3, like the MacBook Pro has. Um, awesome performance. If you're a video editor or anybody who reads and writes a lot of data, there's nothing better than that drive. Um, the, the ports on the MacBook Pro are Thunderbolt 3 ports. All four of them are. Um, one of the upgrades uh, for the MacBook Pro 2018 is that all four ports have equivalent functionality. On the earlier uh, 2017 MacBook Pros, Two of the ports uh, had some higher capability than two of the other ports. That's been kind of fixed in this model. All four ports are equivalent. Um, you're upgraded from the Intel 7th generation processor to the Intel 8th generation processor. It's, that's actually probably, in practical terms, the biggest uh, kind of leap with the MacBook Pro 2018 uh, because those, the equivalent processors there have about double the number of cores inside. And so uh, we're seeing pretty big performance jumps with the 2018 model because of that. And also, you know, we're connecting all this stuff via Thunderbolt 3. The Thunderbolt 3 chipset inside the laptop has been upgraded from the Alpine Ridge generation um, to the Titan Ridge generation. You won't see too much of a difference there with this model uh, of laptop. This lap, the 13-inch uh, MacBook Pro, which is this one, um, that has the Intel graphics processor. It uh, is limited to DisplayPort 1.2. Uh, if you get the higher end uh, MacBook Pro 2018 that has AMD or uh, basically non-Intel graphics, um, that model is able to support DisplayPort 1.4 and HBR3, which is a higher bitrate video encoding that will give you some extra capabilities in terms of connecting to monitors. All, in addition to these types of Thunderbolt 3 devices that I'm showing, um, any of the USB-C devices will also work in these same ports. So uh, USB-C and, US and Thunderbolt 3 can be confusing, but if you're buying a system like the MacBook Pro 2018, those ports are kind of a superset of everything. They're Thunderbolt 3 and they're USB-C capable. So uh, you know we have a range of products that are basically adapters that connect USB-C to various monitors. Uh, VGA, DVI, HDMI display port, um, and also to flash drives and, and, and any sorts of kind of connect this with that um, that you would need uh, over the USB-C port. So there you go, the MacBook Pro 2018, a nice incremental upgrade for the MacBook and compatible with a wide range of Thunderbolt 3 and USB-C devices from Pluggable. If you have any questions at all, would love to hear them. Please just comment below. Thanks.